Witness News exclusive major developments in the Michael Jackson AEG wrongful death lawsuit involving his use of drugs. Newly revealed testimony appears to contradict the recent testimony of Michael Jackson's mother, who claimed to have no knowledge of Michael's past addiction going back years. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez has the exclusive story. His main concern was... His kids. His, always his kids. Jurors hear the most explicit details yet of Michael Jackson's treatment for addiction. It was 2002, seven years before Jackson's death from the anesthetic propofol. Dr. Alamarad Farshian said Jackson wanted off the painkiller Demerol. Blanket was just, was just born, mm -hmm. and that was why he wanted to, uh, what he phrased, monkey on his back, he wanted to just not deal with it anymore. In Farshan's video deposition, he states Jackson family was pressuring the artist. The doctor's statement conflicts with the testimony of Catherine Jackson, who said under oath that she had no personal knowledge that her son struggled with dependency. The doctor said he talked to her directly about his detox treatment. She wanted to know about it, what's going on. Farshan described implanting Jackson with a type of Demerol antidote. Now Trexone, also known as Narcane, a tiny tube inserted under the skin to block the euphoric effect of opiates. The doctor said he implanted Jackson five times over nine months and that he personally witnessed Mrs. Jackson examining her son's incision. I remember that was in Neverland. Michael did show the implant to his mother. Just his mother was there. She was very happy. Catherine Jackson is suing AEG Live, alleging the tour promoters hired and failed to supervise Conrad Murray, the physician linked to the singer's propofol overdose. Her attorneys assert that Jackson's health was deteriorating from anxiety and sleep deprivation in the two months before his death. Jurors heard from Farshan that Jackson suffered from insomnia years earlier. The doctor's theory that it was linked to cosmetic surgery, a key part of Jackson's nose, missing. It's possible that you produce what they call... Uh, empty nose syndrome and producing insomnia. About the plaintiff's claim that Jackson was emaciated, the autopsy recorded he was 136 pounds when he died. Farshan testified that Jackson weighed less, 128 pounds, when he treated him. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. A male nurse took the stand today at the Michael Jackson wrongful death trial. He testified about the pop star's drug use. As CBS 2's Randy Page shows us, the nurse also explained how Jackson allegedly covered it all up. Defense attorneys representing AEG are trying to convince the jury that Michael Jackson was given the anesthetic that killed him many times over the years, that he was secretive about his many medical treatments, and that he wasn't always truthful with medical professionals who were treating him. Today, nurse anesthetist David Fournier was called to the stand, who testified he provided propofol to Jackson on at least 14 occasions between 2000 and 2003 for various medical procedures. Fournier testified Jackson tried to keep his medical history private. He used aliases on his medical record, and he would schedule his procedures in the evening after normal working hours. He would come in the back way. His bodyguards would put an umbrella up over the video camera. And before he left, we went outside to make sure no paparazzi or photographers were there, Fournier testified. During one dermatological procedure in 2003, while under the effect of propofol, Fournier testified he had to assist Michael Jackson with his breathing when the pop star was unable to breathe on his own. Fournier testified the doctor conducting the procedure later told him Jackson was taking a medication to help with an addiction to painkillers, a medication Jackson did not disclose to the nurse anesthetist before the procedure began. 
Fournier testified three months later when Jackson showed up for another procedure. He appeared a little goofy, a little slow to respond. I asked him if anything was going on, if he was on any medications. He denied it, and I didn't believe him, so I canceled the case. But on cross-examination by Jackson family attorneys, this defense witness testified Michael Jackson never asked for propofol. The nurse said he chose the anesthetic because he believed it was the most appropriate. He also said Michael Jackson never asked for any painkillers. Then he was asked, so if you were told Michael Jackson had drug-seeking behavior, you didn't see it, did you? The witness testified that's correct. The defense continues tomorrow morning.